Okay, so what I have here is a standard inverter. Now I bought this at Canadian Tire, but it's a very standard. It's rated at 75 watts maximum, <clears throat> 60 watts continuous. Now, it is fairly common knowledge that you, um, if you underload an inverter, they're generally not very um, efficient. If you, you know, run the inverter at about half its rated power, then you'll have better efficiency than underloading it. So I have these same lights running. Okay, and I had a couple of friends ask me, well, why would you be, you know, divide, designing your own inverter when you can just go out and get one? Well, for one thing, listen to that. Now, it's only on that Lights of America one. These other ones, which I find are better quality, don't buzz. But it certainly does buzz, for one thing, which is, you know, kind of annoying. Secondly, this is what I'm concerned about. All right, here we have this thing going, and I mean, it's not going to a small battery. Each one of those batteries has got 72 amp hour capacity. So it's not like I'm running it off a tiny battery or something retarded. But look what is happening here. You have three lamps. Two of them are rated at two watts, and the other one's rated it at two and a half, okay? So you have six and a half watts of light there manufacturer ratings. Look at the amp draw on this thing. It's pulling an amp at the next thing to 13 volts. So we're over 12 watts of energy being consumed alright to produce these lights. Now if I were to say unplug the lights You're looking at about 180 milliamps with nothing going on. Now this inverter is normally worth anywhere from about 20 to 30 dollars but as you all probably know when they go on sale big time you can get them. I bought that for eight dollars so it isn't just dollars and cents. Um, if you're running on a 60 watt solar panel let's say and you're consuming 12 watts or greater of energy to get six and a half watts of light you're not off to the races yet in my opinion thanks for watching